Welcome to All Farm. No matter what you call them, these freshwater crustaceans are making big waves with hungry Texans. John Galding has been raising these tasty shellfish for almost 25 years, giving folks between Houston and Beaumont an excuse for a social gathering. It's a good way to get together as a family, friends, just a little uh, opportunity to get together, have a good ball, and you can sit around the table and spend time visiting. John and his son Alan are primarily rice farmers, but in 1990 they added crawfish to their resume and Southeast Texas Crawfish Farm was born. The Galdings reflood their fields after the first cutting of rice every year so the grain can regrow. Crawfish need water and a good source of food, so these flooded fields make a perfect breeding ground. About 150 of their acres will be set aside to grow these freshwater lobsters, many of which are already in the rice fields, burrowed into the ground just waiting for the water to flow. Plus, they will stock the ponds when needed. We'll stock in uh, the fall season when we get our fields reflooded. As it gets cold, a lot of times the crawfish will uh, go back down into the ground. Then they'll come out as it warms up and start feeding and reproducing. We'll let them get to a decent size and we usually start our harvest around the 1st of March. Early every morning from March to June, the Galdings launch flat bottom boats into their flooded fields and reap their freshwater harvest. The tops of the triangular crawfish traps barely stick out of the 18 inches of water. They pick up each trap, dump the crawfish, rebait, and stick it back in the ground. Before you know it, you have a boatload of farm-raised red swamp crawfish, but they aren't done yet. Once back on shore, these massive tubs of mud bugs are dumped into purging tanks. After about three hours of soaking in circulating well water, they are ready to sack. This purging process is what sets Texas crawfish apart from its Louisiana cousins. They don't purge their crawfish. They never have. They've always eaten them that way, so it's, that's just the way they do it people in Texas tend to like it uh, better purged. It gives you a good clean crawfish. Uh, not only that, it allows the crawfish to cleanse itself on the inside, so you don't have a uh, gritty taste when you eat crawfish. You have a good clean taste, and a lot of people say it also gives it a sweeter taste. By the end of this season, John hopes to harvest about 40,000 pounds of crawfish an average year. After being sorted, sacked, and cooled, they are ready to sell. Whether boiled, fried, or etouffee, these Cajun crustaceans are in high demand. Folks travel for miles and hours for a sack of Southeast Texas crawfish. While they do sell some wholesale, most of their customers are retail, no doubt getting ready for a backyard boil. We try to give them a good product. Obviously, return, drive up traffic uh, is important to us. So uh, we like to give them what they want. They seem to like that. For TFB News, Ed Wolf, Hampshire. Thank you.